So it looks like SMGs are back. The new Ouroboros is bringing life back to SMGs in PvP and this thing absolutely shreds now there most likely will be multiple different ways to run builds with this weapon in pvp i found this one to be one of my favorite and it's an old classic that a lot of you guys might already have the pieces for so if you guys want to see the full build breakdown we'll have it here but first we're going to show you some gameplay of this thing just ripping through armor now i will tell you the weapon isn't perfect because you do need to hit your shots. And if you miss any, then you'll have to reload. But the great thing about this weapon is it has 25% extra reload speed on the weapon itself. So reloading seems like it doesn't even matter. It's just that fast. Now I'll tell you, if you do land a full clip in somebody, you most likely can one clip them depending on how much armor versus how much weapon damage you have on the build. So just keep that in mind. But as you're seeing here, just look at that. That was literally a one clip and that guy was almost dead already. But we're gonna be showing you some more gameplay of some more players just getting absolutely shredded. And then we'll dive into the build. So if you guys are ready to find out how I have this thing set up, we'll get ready because it's an old favorite with a new twist. I think you guys will enjoy it. All right, let's get into the build right now. So let's take a look at it. We have the Ouroboros here. It's sitting at almost total damage of 90,000. We have 1,485 RPM with 50 in the magazine. We have SMG damage crit chance, and then I re-rolled it with the blueprint until I got the damage targets out of cover. So I'm sitting at 10% damage targets out of cover. Now, obviously you guys know by now, hopefully, if not, um, this talent is when an agent has a status effect applied to them, 50% of the ammo in their next magazine will apply the same status effect. So you have to reload, you'll get it in your next half of the magazine. Now this effect will occur during combat, only during combat. Now it has 10% critical damage on the scope, 25% reload speed, 10% crit chance under barrel, and 10% rate of fire. So obviously a monster to use, and you guys saw, it, we actually had three on that team right there and was just shredding. So I was running a coyote mask. This is for a group, right? So we're getting weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and a critical hit damage mod. Obviously, pack instincts. I'm within 15 meters on most of my fights, so I'm getting that additional 25% critical hit damage. For the chest piece, I went with the Sokolov chest piece for the 10% SMG damage. We have armor on here. We have critical damage, critical chance, critical hit damage mod, and then I have unbreakable. So when your armor is depleted, you repair 95% of your armor. Obviously, that is different when you're in PvP. So just in case you guys want to see it, it's 50% versus 95% in PvP. For the holster, I'm running the Picaro's holster. So that's going to be 10% skill haste. We have armor, we have critical hit damage, and we have weapon damage. And then obviously, um, I do have some of these pieces leveled up to 20 expertise, some at 15, just depends if I had extra exotics. For the knee pads, we have the Fox Pair knee pads. This is gonna give us armor, that 8% damage targets out of cover, so now we're sitting at 18% damage targets out of cover, and we have 12% critical hit damage. We have the Contractor Gloves. This is gonna give us weapon damage. It gives us 8% damage to armor, and then we have 12% critical hit damage. For you new returning players, if you guys don't remember, the damage to armor, and then obviously the damage targets out of cover is multiplicative, so that's why even though I'm not using an LMG or using a rifle, these are still kind of best in slot for this type of build. For the backpack, I'm running with the Matador backpack. This has weapon damage, armor, critical chance, critical hit damage, critical hit damage mod, and then obviously we're getting perfect adrenaline rush. So whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, you gain 12% bonus armor for five seconds. Now that's in PVP. Remember it's higher out of in PVE, but yeah, for PVP, 12%, if I have three enemies, you can stack it up three times, right? So that's why it's actually really good, especially when you get three, four guys pushing in, you'll get a huge chunk of armor and it gives you some type of survivability. I was running the Defender Drone in that, but you can literally run whatever skills you want. Technically, you should be running something that works for your team. So maybe you need a Booster Hive, maybe you need um, a Chem. I, I don't know what you're running, but yeah, I had a Defender Drone and I paired that up with a decoy, but sometimes I run the Pulse. The skills don't really matter for this build. It just gives you a little bit more survivability if you wanna run something like the Defender Drone. So for the specialization, you can run whatever you want. In the video, I was running the firewall specialization, but obviously if you're in a group, you wanna run survivalist because when I pop a med kit, that med kit's going to be shared with my team. And if they use the same thing, we just kinda of have multiple med kits. So that's why it works really good. 
Now, if you are running solo or if you guys want to have one person run the firewall, well, this is actually a great way because, you know, you do get damage buff when you guys have this in a group. And the med kit for that poor player is 200%. So that's why a lot of people like running this. But in a group, obviously, I like running survivalists. Most of my teammates run it. So we kind of feed off of each other. And that's the build right there. For the secondary, you can run what you want. I have a FAMAS on there. You guys know most of my weapons. Uh, my main weapons are at 23. The, this FAMAS with the Optimus is at 23. Before this build, I was literally just running this Ouroboros. And man, I'm telling you, this thing absolutely shreds. And I can't wait to keep trying different builds with it because I think it's gonna be a fun piece to use. Now, the one downfall I will say is at distance doesn't feel as strong as obviously something like the FAMAS but when you get them close this thing's an absolute monster and literally shreds armor as you guys were seeing but yeah that's the build right there guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it man happy grinding remember go to the incursion start farming it if you guys are trying to grab this good luck happy hunting and I'll see you guys in the next one hey nothing but skills out <laughs> in here close corner it's, it's a wrap bro <laughs> Oh shit, he had a huge make it. Make it efficient, efficient to make this. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Rogue defender drone detected. Sound defender drone detected. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh, my fire, my fire. Oh, 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 I'm gonna be in the back. Bro! 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 It closed corner. It was like. Yeah, that sledgehammer. Bro, when you proc that sledgehammer, he was on a med kit and it literally.